Hello, how are you? Welcome to our YouTube channel, Maths College. Today also, I am ready to teach a new lesson for you. What is it? It's a geometrical lesson. What is it? It's related to the theorem. Theorem of the triangle. Okay, now look at it. What is the lesson? Equiangular triangle. Before learning the theorem, first understand how to write the ratio of length. Ratio of length. The lengths are given. How to write it as the ratio? Look at it. Is the AB straight line? C lies on the AB line. The length of the AC is the 2 cm and the length of the CB is the 3 cm. Then the ratio is given A, AC to CB. What is the ratio? The length of the AC is 2 and the length of the CB is 3. Then 2 to 3 is the ratio of AC to CB. Next one. AC to AC to AB. The length of AC is 2 cm and the length of the AB is 5 centimeters. 2 to 5. Next, CB to AC. CB is the 3 centimeters and the AC is the 2 centimeters. Then the ratio of CB to AC is 3 to 2. Let's go to another example. This is the ABC triangle. PQR points are on the sides of the three sides of triangle. Look at it. How to write the ratio? AP to PB. AP to PB. The length of the AP is 2 and PB is 3. Then AP to PB is 2 to 3. Next, BR to RC. BR is 3 cm and also RC is the 3 cm. BR to RC, RC is 3 to 3. Next, AQ to QC. AQ is 1 cm and the QC is 5 cm, 1 to 5. Now, you learn about how to write the ratios when the length is given, how to write it as the ratio. Now, you already know that if the ratio is given, it can be write it as the fraction also. The ratio is given, it can be write it as the fraction also. AP to PB, write it as the fraction AP divided by the PB. The second term goes to the denominator of the fraction. Okay, let's go. What is the theorem we have to learn today? Now, look at the what is the theorem. This theorem related to the triangle. There are a lot of theorems related to the triangle. This is one of them. What is it? The line drawn parallel to a side of a triangle. The line drawn parallel to a side of a triangle divides the other two sides the proportionally. Look at it. If the line drawn to the PQ is the line is parallel to the BC side. BC is the one of the side of a triangle. By the PQ, other two sides are divided. It. Yes, divided to four parts. What are the parts? AP and PB and the AQ and QC. According to the theorem, the theorem said that if the line drawn parallel to the side of a triangle, other two sides, these are the other two sides, AB and BC, proportionally, then it can be written as the ratio like this, AP to PB, the length of the AP to PB, equal to AQ to QC. Why? The two lines are parallel. Parallel. If the two lines are parallel, it can be written as this relationship. This is the ratio form and also 
it can be written as the fraction form. AP to PB, AP divided by the PB equal AQ divided by the QC. Again, I will explain it. If the line drawn to parallel of the side of a triangle divides the other two sides, other two sides proportionally. This is the relationship about this theorem. Now, let's go how to apply this theorem in the fractions. Let's go it. Okay. Now, look at what are the examples. Okay. When using this about theorem, solving these questions, what is the theorem? If the lines drawn to the parallel to the side of a triangle, then divides the other two sides by the proportional. Proportional. The theorem, according to the theorem, can be applied in like this question. What is the question asked? Find the length of R1. Length of R1. Then take the Ry as a x. The length of the Ry taken as x. First write the relationship according to the theorem. The theorem, these two lines are parallel. Then these two sides are proportional. P x divided by x q equal p x divided by x q equal r y divided by y q. Yes, the length of the p x is 4 centimeters, x q is 2 centimeters, r y the length of, now take the x in here and the y q is 3. How to simplify this? Yes, simplify like this. Cross multiplication, multiply these two numbers. 4 multiplied by the 3 equals 2 multiplied by the x. If the 4 multiplied by the 3 is 12, 12 equals 2 multiplied by the x is 2x. To find the value of x divided by the 2, x equals 6 cm. X is the length of R1. R1. First, we write according to the theorem what is the relationship can be written according to this figure. Go through the second example. What is it? If AC equals 12 cm, the length of the AC is 12 cm, find the value of Y. In here, this is a Y. Other two unknown terms are here. Okay, now look at it. If the length of the AC is 2L, what is the length of AQ? What is the length of AQ? 2L is the total length. Then, Y is one part of this line, AC line. AQ written as 2L subtraction what? The length of the AQ is first Find it, it's the 12 subtraction 1. Then apply the theorem. What is the relationship? AP divided by AP divided by the PB equal AQ divided by the QC. Why we write this relationship? These two lines are parallel. If the two lines are parallel of the triangle, can be written this relationship. Yes. What is it? The value of AP is X. The value of PB is 3X. Yes. AQ is 12 minus Y. QC is Y. Okay. Now, how can we simplify? The X can be simplified. Yes. Y also can. No. Then here, this is the subtraction. Can't be cancer. 1 third equal 12 minus y divided by y. Apply the cross multiplication. Multiply the numerator number in this fraction denominator number. 1 multiplied by the y 
equal 3 times of 12 minus y. y in here, 3 multiplied 12, 36 and the 3 multiplied by 3y minus 3y come to this side, it's convert to the plus 3y. 36 equal 4y equal 36 to find the value of y divided by the 4 y equal 9 centimeters. Yes, there are some questions how to apply the above theorem. Let's go another example. Now, before the discuss the example, I will explain what is the converse of the theorem. Converse. Look at it. If a line divided two sides of a triangle proportional. If the line divided two sides of a triangle proportionally, then that line is parallel to the other side. Not given parallel. These two sides are divided by the proportion. Then these two DE parallel to the BC. Now check it. What is it? First check these two sides are proportion. AD to AD to DB. What is the ratio? 4 divided by 3. Can't be simplified. It. Let's go the next. AE to EC. The length of the A is 6 cm. EC is the 4.5. How can we simplify it? Yes, it's the decimal number here. Can't be divided. To cancel the decimal multiplied by the 2. In here 1 decimal point. Therefore multiplied by the 10. This one 60 divided by the 45. Then it can be simplified further. 60 divided by the 45 divided by the 15. How many 15s for the 60? 4 15s and 45, 3 15s. Yes, these two fractions are equal. Therefore, we can write it AD divided by the DB equal to AE divided by the EC. If the two sides are proportional, then the line is parallel. Therefore, what is the conclusion? DE parallel to what is sides? BC. Is the converse of that above theorem. Let's go the example. Now, look at it, how to apply the kernels of theorem for the questions. The question asks, based on the information given in the figure, show that the AC line parallel to PQ. If the uh, question given, show that the, if the two lines are parallel, we first find it, other two sides are proportional. Okay, these Two sides in the triangles, AC and PQ are in the triangles. Find it, other two sides. What is the other two sides? AC is the one side. It's ask them, AB and BC are the other two sides. Find it, other two sides are proportional. According to the theorem, find it. It's like this, AP divided by PB. What is the value? AP is the 2L and the PB is the 16 centimeters. It can be simplified. How many fours for the 2L? 3. How many fours for the 16? 4. Here is 1. BC. What is the BC side? QC divided by the QB. QC divided by the QB. The value of the QC is 15 and the value of the QB is 20. Then it can be simplified by the 5. How many 5s for the 15, 3 and the 24? Yes, the two values are equal. It's proportional. Therefore, AP divided by the PB equal QC divided by the QB. Two values are equal. 
Therefore, we can say according to the Kernels of theorem, the two sides are proportionally other sides is parallel to the line. Then PQ line parallel to AC. Yes. Okay. Now, today we discuss about the theorem, one of the theorem related to the triangles theorem and the converse of it so observe my video to more learn new concept then join us at our youtube channel maths college and also don't forget subscribe my channel maths college say goodbye all of you have a good future